Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In this video, you will be shown how to download and install Linux Mint onto a mini PC. By the end of the video you will be able to dual boot into Windows and Linux. For the purposes of this video, we will be installing Linux Mint on the Snunmu Mini PC which retails for around £120 on Amazon. There are a number of other budget mini PCs available and this guide should work for most of them. The Snunmu Mini PC has 4GB of random access memory, 64GB read-only memory, 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi, and two HDMI ports. There is also an SD card port which we will utilize to install and boot Linux Mint. For this tutorial you will need a mini PC. I am using the Snunmu, but you can use any mini PC with similar specs. It will need to be able to boot from an SD card. You will also need a blank USB drive, a blank SD card and an internet connection. The whole process should take less than an hour of your time. The first thing we need to do is download an ISO image of Linux Mint. To do this open a web browser and type Linux Mint into Google. Click on the download link within Google. You will be taken to the Linux Mint download page. There are multiple versions of Linux Mint available but for this tutorial we will be using the one with the Cinnamon desktop environment. After clicking the download link for the Cinnamon version of Linux Mint, scroll down and look for the location that is closest to you. Click on one of the links to begin the download process. The Linux Mint ISO will be stored in your downloads folder. We now need to install the ISO to a USB drive. To do this, we use a piece of software called Belina Etcher. Type Belina Etcher or Etcher.io into your browser's address bar. Click the download link. When the file has downloaded, click on the executable. When the license agreement window appears, click I agree. Etcher will now be installed on your computer and should start automatically. If Etcher doesn't start automatically, double click on the Belina icon on the desktop. Insert your USB drive into the mini computer. Within Belina Etcher, click on the Flash from File button. Navigate to your Downloads folder and click on the Linux Mint ISO. Click on the Select Target button. Place a check in the box next to your USB drive. Take care when choosing the drive, make sure you don't accidentally choose the drive which has Windows on it. Click the Select button. Click the Flash button. Linux Mint will now be copied onto the USB drive. There are two stages to the installation. The first flashes the image to the USB drive, the second verifies that it has flashed correctly. This can take around 15 to 20 minutes. After the USB has been created, reboot your computer. When the logo for the manufacturer appears press the F7 button on your keyboard. A menu will appear with a list of bootable drives. Press the down arrow on your keyboard until your USB drive is highlighted. Then press enter. Another menu will appear with a list of options for running and installing Linux Mint. Choose the first option and press enter. Click on the install Linux Mint icon on the desktop. Choose your installation language. Click continue. Choose your keyboard language and layout. Click continue. Multimedia codecs allow you to listen to certain music formats and watch videos. Click the checkbox to install multimedia codecs. Click continue. We are installing Linux Mint to an SD card. We therefore need to choose something else as the installation type. Click something else. Click install now. A list of drives and partitions will now appear. It is important that we select the correct drive. Click on the Linux Mint icon and then type disks. Click on the disks icon. Click on each disk one at a time until you see the one that represents your SD card. The name of the drive is specified under the heading and will say something like Dev SDA. Within the installer, scroll down until you find free space under the name of your drive. For example Dev SDA. It is important that the bootloader is installed onto the SD card. In the drop-down under the words device for bootloader installation, choose your drive. For example DevSDA. 
click on the plus icon and change the mount icon to forward slash. This is the root partition. Change the size of the partition to 20,000 which represents 20 gigabytes. You can choose a larger size but it is not recommended to be smaller than this. Find the remaining free space on your SD card and click the plus icon again. Choose forward slash home as the mount point. For the size enter an amount that is the total amount of free space left minus 8000. 8000 represents 8 gigabytes and will be used for swap storage. Once again find the remaining free space on your SD card and click the plus icon again. Within the users drop down, select swap area. Click install now, a window will appear showing the drive the new partitions will be created on. Make sure they are correct before pressing continue, all data will be wiped from the drive. If you are unsure, click go back, click continue to install Linux Mint to the SD card. Choose your location on the map or select it from the drop down. This is used to set your clock to the correct time zone, click continue. Enter your name, then choose a name for your computer. This is how your computer will appear on your home network. Enter a username, enter a password and repeat it in the box below. You can choose for Linux Mint to automatically log in without requiring a password but to be secure it is better to choose the require my password to log in option. Finally you can encrypt your home partition so that all of your personal files are encrypted when stored there. Click continue when ready. Linux Mint will now copy the files to the SD card, install the necessary applications and install the hardware devices. This process can take a while so you can walk away and do something else whilst you are waiting. When the installation is complete click on the restart now button, you will now be asked to remove the USB drive, remove the USB drive and press enter. When the logo for the computer manufacturer appears press F7 and select Ubuntu from the menu. Select the default option to start Linux Mint, enter the password for your user and Linux Mint should appear along with a welcome message. If you like this video please remember to click like and subscribe to see more content from everyday Linux user.